This is how you build the best honey and honeycomb farm in Minecraft 1.19.2. This farm makes 50 honey bottles or 150 honeycomb per hour. If you build this farm in the nether or the end, expect 100 honey bottles or 300 honeycomb per hour. Need both? You can mix up the shears and bottles in the dispensers to produce both types from the same farm. I am here with my assistant yellow, so let's jump right into it. If you plan on building this farm, be sure to leave a like and let me know. If you're a fan of me, you're a fan of yourself, so subscribe and join the club. The first step is to find a bee nest that contains at least two bees. To get the nest, simply break it with any silk touch tool. The bees will remain safe inside until you place the nest again. Collect a total of eight nests by exploring your world. If you don't have silk touch, then you can make beehives instead. And if you don't want to explore to find bee nests, then you can also use this method. Build a medium sized box around the bee nest and place flowers on the inside and a campfire under the bee nest. In this box, shear honeycomb from the nest to craft beehives and also breed bees with flowers to fill the beehives. Once you have a total of eight beehives filled with three bees each, you are ready to begin. If you build this farm in the nether or the end, then follow the steps at the end of the video before placing any beehives. Here are the materials for the honey farm. You can use dirt, cobblestone, or any solid block instead of smooth stone for building blocks. And if you're building this farm in the nether or the end, you will need eight more slabs. If you need a world download, lightmatic, or schematic, then join my Discord. The first step is to build a backwards L shape. Place a double chest on the end and then connect hoppers out the back. Next, place mud on top of the hoppers and then take your flower of choice and place it on top. Two blocks away from the hoppers, build a 3x8 area with your building block of choice. On the end, place two blocks and break the inner block. Then, place seven more blocks against the outer block. Then, place 24 redstone on top of these blocks. After placing the redstone, place eight comparators face towards the flowers. Now place 8 blocks on top of the redstone here. Against those blocks, place 8 slabs. And on the other side of the blocks, place 8 more blocks. Now place in your sticky pistons facing downwards. And against the sticky pistons, place dispensers facing downwards. Then, place 8 blocks underneath the pistons and 8 blocks, 1 block below the dispensers. Once finished, break and replace the slab to get on top of the machine. Place the rest of the redstone on top here, and then place 2 rows of repeaters facing towards the dispensers. Now place 2 building blocks here. Break this block and place it on the other side of the block. Do the same on the other side of the farm. Then place glass against the flowers. You don't have to use glass, but it's nice being able to see your bee friends. Above the flowers, place walls to prevent the bees from escaping and then place blocks against the walls. If you're building the farm in the overworld, then wait until night to place in the beehives. If you need to breed more bees, then you can breed them through the walls. But if any bees don't go into any hives at night, it means they're extra and will slow the farm down. So be sure to move them somewhere else. The next step is to place in the bottles and shears into the farm. You can use all bottles or all shears depending if you want only honeycomb or only honey bottles or both. If you built the farm in the nether or the end, then break the flowers and place slabs on top of the mud. Then place in your beehives and place the walls on top of the slabs.
Next, break those slabs and carefully place flowers back in by aiming at the edge of the block. And the farm is complete.